What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to be successful in NBA 2K20, my team. I've made this video a few times in the past, but I wanted to give you guys more of an updated version because it's past All-Star Weekend, you know, we're in March now, so I figured it would be a nice little video to make, um, especially because if you guys didn't know, today on Xbox, you actually can get NBA 2K20 for free. So there's going to be a lot of people that are, you know, getting this game and trying to play it for the first time or whatever. Um, and yeah, I figured I'd make this video and help you guys out. So if you guys do enjoy this video and you did find it helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. And be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Feel free to check out all my other videos. We got a lot of tutorial videos and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. Real quick too, I just want to let you guys know, I'm going to be posting a vlog probably tomorrow or Saturday. Um, it's going to be about me and JC, if you guys don't know who he is. Um, he's actually one of my best friends. He's a content creator as well. Um, we're going to be meeting up in the city and just hanging out and doing a bunch of random stuff. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be able to meet some of you guys as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, just letting you guys know, there should be a vlog coming soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that. When you are logging into my team for the first time, um, you guys obviously will get like an introduction screen about um, like, you know, like the starter packs and all that sort of stuff. Most of you guys watching this video already knows know what I'm talking about. So mainly the first tip I really want to give you guys is make sure you guys are doing these daily logins. You guys can see every day that you do log in, you get something, whether it's like a free reward pack, it's like MT, it's tokens, whatever it may be, you're getting something out of it. Now, it's definitely really good because in the long run it does build up and like i said when you log in all seven days you actually get a chance at the wheel spin which actually does give you something towards you know like you can get like a free diamond player like it could be Giannis, ben simmons whatever it may be um you can get like you know more free like prime packs you can get like i think it's like 25k mt is an option you can get like 50 tokens like whatever it may be you definitely want to make sure that you guys are logging in every single day when you guys start off this you're gonna see a couple different game modes here like you do have you know um you know my team unlimited you have triple threat online you have triple threat offline and you have domination you guys are probably curious as to know like you know what would be best for you to start especially as like you know a brand new player and stuff like that honestly the best way to get used to the game early on is by grinding out domination now you guys can see i'm on my boy jason's account so I'm actually in the, you know, we're in the process of grinding out these games as well. But on my account, I already have all of these done. Um, and yeah, so these games are a little bit annoying when you go through them. But as of right now in this mode, there's a lot of new cards that have come out that are really cheap that can definitely help you guys out, which I'm going to cover some of those in a little bit for you guys to kind of help you guys out with some good budget ballers here. Um, but yeah, so domination is really good. What it actually does is it gives you 663 tokens um, in total from grinding out all three of these modes. Now, while you're grinding out and getting these tokens and stuff like that, you're also going to be getting players towards your collector level. Um, you're going to be getting jerseys. You're going to get like the balls for like the court. You're going to get courts itself, like a logos, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to kind of help you do a lot. So it'll help you get used to the game. It'll build up your like token, um, like collector levels and stuff like that. Um, and it'll also help you build up your other collector level and actually help you, you know, get some free ammo. This like Walter Davis, Jason Kidd, you know, which are good cards still for domination. I don't really recommend using them online though um but yeah domination is definitely a pretty cool game mode that you guys want to make sure that you guys go ahead and complete it is very boring but if you know if you're if i'm live i mean you might as well just watch my stream while you're doing it you know what i'm saying you have some entertainment in the background i know it's a cheap little plug i'm sorry but triple threat offline as well same thing on my account you guys know i did go through and do this all you get a thousand wins and you do get a free galaxy opal dominique wilkins now i'm not gonna lie to you guys this Dominique Wilkins is basically outdated. Uh, he's very much outdated. But if you guys are a new player, okay, if you guys are a new player and you guys are looking for, even if it is just a free Opal, it's cool to grind him out. I think he's still a pretty solid player. He's just a little outdated as far as badges and stuff go. Um, but while you're going through, if you guys don't know how this works, every time you get a win, you actually get to open, you get to have a chance at opening the vault, I should say. I don't want to say you get, you get to open the vault because it's 2K. Um... But yeah, in the vault, you actually have a chance of getting a one token, 10 tokens, a flash pack from the All-Star Series, which can actually give you two Galaxy Opals, like in the pack. You have a chance of getting a Galaxy Opal Vince Carter or a Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan. You do have a Diamond Zion and a Diamond Ben Simmons. So all pretty cool stuff, um, especially if you are a new player, like I did say, that it'll kind of help you out, kind of stack up your team a little bit. Um, and like I said, Every time you win a game, you get a chance to open it. There's always like events going on over here in the home screen where it says today in my team that sometimes there's like, you know, an event where you get like two times at the vault. You get like two, you know, I'm talking about like you get like two chances at opening the vault. 
um so you always want to stay like you want to always want to pay attention to that too you guys know that thing it's called like vc yeah don't buy that anymore what you really want to do is use code buy 2 k at nba 2 kingcom and get five percent off your final order for cheap and reliable mt one last thing i forgot to mention with this too is it actually does give you a thousand tokens in total now again it is pretty cool when you're grinding out and getting like all of these done you do get a lot of promo packs you do get you know a free diamond card you get a free uh diamond jamal crawford that evos to a pink diamond and then you do get a pink diamond ibaka which is a very good card but again he, he actually evos to a galaxy opal but a lot of these cards are kind of outdated ibaka is still pretty cool i do like him or ibaka I, I know i always say his name wrong and people get mad at me whatever but yeah so it is definitely pretty cool as far as rewards go um and stuff like that challenges are are okay i mean these weekly challenges i don't really think are worth it i mean there's there's like how many there's 26 weekly challenges at six tokens each so you're gonna be getting like all, you know well over 100 tokens and stuff like that from this stuff but i don't really think it's worth it moments challenges are pretty cool because they do give you free mt and free tokens some of them are worth doing some of them really aren't as a new player you guys are probably looking at these and they're called spotlight challenges now spotlight challenges are very cool in my opinion i love I love the whole idea of spotlight challenges. I really do. What it is, is basically you have to complete like a series of players or like a collection of players. And when you do that, you go ahead and grind through all of these challenges. Now, when you get all these challenges done, what actually happens is you do end up getting a free pink diamond player. And you guys can see some of them are pretty good. Marbury is pretty good. Richard Jefferson is pretty good. Giannis is really good. Um, and then you guys, you know, you have like Blake. And then these ones, I don't really recommend doing these first five right here. But um, the second series of five players, so the Jeremy Lin one, the Jason Kidd one, the Kareem, Iggy, and Dwight Howard spotlight challenges, you actually do get a free Galaxy Opal from doing that. If you come over to the rewards section here and go over to the spotlight rewards, when you get all five of those, you guys do get a Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy, which is really cool. The only thing is with the spotlight series um, is all the collections are very expensive now. That is the only you know downside you guys can see like you know my boy jace has got the locked in but these players have gone up in price a little bit um because they haven't obviously been in packs in a very long time um so yeah like obviously if you can get these done i honestly highly recommend doing them because it's a free galaxy opal that is very much usable you get blake griffin who is very nice you get um you get Giannis, which is obviously very good as well so if you guys want to know which one again the Giannis one is it is the kareem abdul jabbar one you guys do need all these players so you do need to buy two pink diamonds in gary payton and james worthy so unfortunately like that's where it might get a little expensive especially with the rest of these guys because there are three diamonds um and then I, yeah there's three diamonds and an ami plus all the rubies and stuff like that which some of these actually do go for like a high amount like yeah you guys can see john mclaughlin because some of them are required for the challenges so you guys do need to make sure you get them so yeah some of them you're gonna have to pay a lot for unfortunately but if you guys can get these done i highly recommend it last thing i'm gonna say about the spotlight challenges too is i actually have tip videos on every single one up on my channel for these five so if you guys want to get these done and you guys are like, okay, how do I get these done fast? I have tip videos up for every single one, like I said. So be sure to just go check them out on my channel. Again, I know a lot of people want to open packs and I know you guys see these packs and you guys are like, oh my God, like I have to open them and stuff like that. It is never worth opening packs. I'm letting you guys know this right now. It is not worth doing it. It's really not. So stay away from this. Do not, do never buy packs with MT either. I promise you, you will not get what you put in in return so i'm gonna open this pack right here 17,000 mt 17,000 mt and we're gonna see what we get out of this pack we're gonna flip ball we're gonna get two jerseys a ball a shoe and nate robinson not even close to giving us back 17k it is not worth doing it i'm telling you guys this right now do not do it it's not good you you really just want to stay away from that now good ways to make mt is honestly when new packs come out by focusing up on the auction house so say for instance yesterday these uh flash super packs came out right which does have all like you know like i said the flash players um like i was talking about in the triple threat vault you guys do have vince carter michael jordan nash um lebron and then i think there is yeah chauncey billups which don't even get me started on that man if you know you know but yeah all these players are in these packs so yesterday people were sitting on the auction and literally just doing this going to galaxy opal and going to a buy now now obviously there's none up for a buy now so if you really just sit here and a lot of good sniping methods and stuff like that are literally setting the max bid to 100k 500 for the minimum buyout and then 100k for the maximum buyout buyout as well 
and literally just sitting here and scrolling down the 100k bid and you never know a kd could pop up a curry can pop up a rose could pop up a jordan a vince there's a lot of opals in packs right now so yeah it's, a, it's you know it's just like a little tip for you guys right there um when new packs do come out especially if they do have an opal a t-mac i entirely forgot I'm, I'm stupid i entirely forgot about t-mac which is insane but yeah you guys get the point though these are all the guys that you could potentially snipe so i do recommend you know when new packs come out you guys taking the time to sit on some filters especially if you're missing or if you like need some mt and stuff like that definitely couldn't hurt one of the last things I want to talk about with you guys is the collector level. Now, the collector level, I'm going to I'm not going to talk a lot about because I it's, it's very I'm just going to be short and sweet right to the point, okay? Going to be honest with you guys, I do not recommend going for these collector levels, okay? This Galaxy Opal AD is going to cost you millions to get, and the Pink Diamond AD and the one that they're probably going to release very soon is going to be better if not the same as this Anthony Davis. So I don't really recommend it. This Wade is insane. I'm not going to lie. He's cracked out of his mind. He has like 52 Hall of Fame badges or whatever. But it's not worth it. Again, millions of MT. The Pink Diamond one is already really good. I, I, I just don't. Especially if you're a newer player or you're like a budget baller. 100% do not recommend going for any of these guys. Like, it's cool. I promise you. It's like, it's really awesome, you know, to be like, yo, I have Galaxy Oval AD. Ah, it's, it's not worth it. The only reason why me and my boy Jason are pushing for this AD is strictly for content for me to give to you guys. That's literally it. I know we all want to have full on Galaxy Opal teams and be like, yeah, we got every Opal in the game. Doesn't matter. I can promise you guys this right now. It does not matter. This game has so many budget beasts in it that you guys really need to take a look at, especially that are so cheap. Like just their values are insane. So again, yes this looks really good i promise you but there's a lot of cards in this game that are going to play like very similar to most of these guys so at this video i'm going to show you guys a lot and i mean a lot of good budget cards that are very cheap that are like def most of these are going to be under 50k mt which i know is going to be a little bit different especially if you are a newer player to build up that amount of mt um but yeah this is just a lot of good budget cards so even just scrolling starting out by scrolling through the moments cards marcus smart's diamond card is very good he has one of the best releases in my opinion in this game he's great at defense gets a lot of strip steals for you um derrick jones jr is a very solid card as well bam is one of the best centers in this game the only thing is his price is still going up now um from all-star weekend so he is a little bit more expensive but again he is one of the top centers really in this game Miles Bridges, again, a very solid budget card that you guys need to look into picking up. He's like kind of like a budget version of, you know, a guy like... I, I don't really want to say certain names because people are going to be like, oh, what the hell? So I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna leave it at he's a very good budget card. Terrence Davis, OG Ananobi, two very good cards as well. On, on, yeah, I probably butchered his name too, and you guys are probably like, bye, what the hell? Sorry, I'm terrible with names. Diamond John Morant is pretty cool. Donovan Mitchell is very cool. Buddy Heald is really nice. Um, you guys do have like this Seth Curry who is, I mean, he's okay. He's nothing insane. I'm not going to lie to you and be like, yo, he's cracked. Like, he's okay. Kelly Oubre Jr. is really good. Diamond Chris Paul is another really solid card that I think people overlook a lot. And those are just the moments cards. It's mainly when you come over here to these like more recent cards that came out. Like, Alex Caruso, I know he's a meme, but I'm telling you, he's very good. Gerald Wallace, Rudy Gay, all really cheap cards that you guys definitely want to look into picking up. And even Sapphire cards that are maybe overlooked as far as Unlimited go. Domination, these cards can really help you out. Guys like Diallo, um, we'll go to the buzzer beater promo. Paul Pierce is very good. I don't know if Drazen is still pretty cheap. Um, okay, his price definitely went up, so we're not even going to worry about him. Chauncey Billups is a very good budget card. You guys don't understand how cheesy this man can get. Shaq is very good for you guys as well. Kenny Skywalker Walker. I know it sounds weird. It's his nickname. You guys made that very clear to me. Believe me, he's pretty damn good as well. You really want to look into picking these guys up. One of the biggest tips I can always give you guys, is do not get blinded by card tiers. Antoine Walker is really good. Um, Kevin Martin is really good as well. Like I said, I, I, told, I tell you guys this all the time not to get blinded by card tiers. And that is very important because card tiers, like I said, it's cool to be like, yeah, I have a pink diamond like Kawhi, right? And it's like, yeah, I have pink diamond Kawhi. But like realistically, like a guy like, you know, a guy like Paul Pierce is going to do the same thing for you. You know, as like half the price. 
or Gerald Wallace, I should say. Gerald Wallace is definitely a better comparison. But, like, Beverly is pretty good. I mean, it's like, for domination, I'm saying. Um, Prime Series 2 cards. Again, Aldridge is one of the better budget cards in this game. He's a little bit expensive right now. Lance Stevenson, though, is very good. Jeff Green, uh, Dennis Smith Jr., all very solid cards. And I'm sure you guys kind of get the point now, so I'm not going to sit here and go through every single one. Like, Jason Terry is pretty cool. DeRozan is really good for his value, like you guys can see. Um, okay, well, he went up since, I mean, he was like 40K. Oh, actually, you know what would be a really good one to bring up for you guys? Lamar Odom. These Super Packs just came out, and he has one of the best cards in this game for his value right now. 30K MT, and you can get actually 26K, like 25K. That's the whole thing. There's so many good cards still in this game that are very cheap that you guys definitely need to, like, pick up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it like I did say. If you guys have any questions for me, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. I have no problem answering them. Um, obviously, help you guys, you know, help each other out too. I want to see, I want to see a big family down there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody has a question, answer it. Help the man out. Would be greatly appreciated. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys are excited for the vlog I'm going to be bringing, you, bringing to you guys. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, before this video ends, I did just want to let you guys know that I did recently get partnered, and obviously most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to be live streaming almost every single day, all day, um, depending on whatever we're playing, um, will obviously just depend on my mood for that day, but my Twitch is on the screen, twitch.tv slash bio2k with an underscore, and you guys can see it on the screen, um, and then also, obviously, I do have a Twitter, if you guys want to drop a follow over here as well, the links to both of those are going to be in the description down below, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, peace.